my people femi fallen has sent serious message to uh to tinubu he say uh, what you will do now with this 10 billion dollars 10 billion dollars so uh -huh. not be naira 10 billion dollars we say you say you won't come on for four subsidies so then what you must do with the money you say uh -huh. otherwise say pro you go get problem you will get problem. We go mobilize the people against you. You go shock. You go get problem. It says so. Now waiting they go on with this. You know, it said so. What you must do with the ten billion men from fuel subsidy, Falana to Tinubu. It said Tinubu, you must ensure say you do this thing well. Human rights lawyer Femi Falana has urged President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to divert the proceed of ten billion dollars to be saved as a result of web city remover into addressing economic crisis plunging the country fallon has stated this in an interview on china's television politics today he lamented that over 143 million nigerians are in extreme poverty and that these must be catered for because of the biting effect of the fuel subsidy. Falana argued that $800 million World Bank loan for palliative would go nowhere. And that is why the government have to take the bulk of the $10 billion, $10 billion being saved to address the challenges of the fuel subsidy remover. He added, secondly, we must look we must also look into the statutory pal pal palliative welfare program being, pro being propagated and brought about by the Tinubu's administration. We must ensure that this welfare program is already designated and implemented into the law of the government. For instance, they are supposed to have a national insurance scheme for Nigerians. And make sure that it is working you have the pension fund act why are people queuing up to collect pension there must be a system in place that works for the people falana said that, that last month ha had moments of challenges but the removal of the fourth subsidy from the buhari's administration into tinubu's administration should do well to address the what the what is going on with nigerians rather than being quiet about what the people are facing and going through femi fallon has said last month alone look at issues that happen bola metinubu's administration took nigerians by surprise when he announced the first subsidy remover in his inaugural speech as president his announcement was made to the fact that fuel subsidy was gone forever and made no provision for the people Today, Nigerians are suffering, and that is the truth. But he has not done anything. All we hear is talks, but no effect has been paid. No effort has been paid to address what the people are genuinely and honestly feeling. So that's Femi Falana, who has stated that uh, Tinubu must do more. Tinubu must do more in addressing the issue people are faced with right now. He said because Tinubu cannot stay on his high horse and just and make an announcement and say fuel subsidy is gone forever. Pe you've plunged people into agile poverty. The number of poor people are more than those who could barely fend for themselves. And you think it's okay? No, it doesn't work like no, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work like that. You must care for the people that you want to lead over. It's not enough to be a leader. You must do more. You must ensure that the lives and properties of the people are secured. Every now and again, we see different, different perspective and different issues coming up, you know, with regards to this governance. But really and sincerely speaking, Buhari and Tinobu, what's really the difference? We understand where subsidy has been removed, but people are genuinely suffering. No provision has been made in order for the people to, in order for the people to get away from what is happening today. No provision has been made whatsoever. No single provision. People are really suffering. And nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying anything. 
People are going through a lot. The people are suffering. Some people cannot even feed. Not because they don't want to eat. There is no food. They are barely getting by. You know, the thing is biting hard on the people. Yet some people sit on their high horse and say, yes, if we're subsidy remover is good. It should go at some point because it's a scam. However, there must be systems in place so that people do not feel what they are feeling. You know, there must be systems in place. In Nigeria, we just do things abruptly without even honestly considering the people that the other person is a human being. And, you know, we need time to adjust and, you know, things have to be done decently and in order so that Nigerians can truly go through it without even knowing that something or such is going on. Look at the time that they shared palliative during the lockdown. How many people got the palliative? In fact, government officials were using palliative as their own souvenirs in their parties and what have you. That's some of the things that we can experience and see in a country. And nobody's saying anything. No single person is addressing this, all this matter to ensure that the difference, you know, is made. We, we can't, we can't uh, continue in the all bits of lies and think that everything is okay. We can't continue that way. Once upon a time, every single person must understand exactly what is going on so that together we can make the effect, the change effect that we truly desire. Because if Nigeria is to change, if we're going to get anywhere with all that is currently happening, we all have to begin to rise up to the occasion and ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again to keep us down. The nation is going through a lot right now. But what are we doing to ensure that, you know, those things that have been spoken about before now, you know, that we, 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 we are doing right by the people. Can you see what's going on? Can you see that there is, there is urgent need for every single person, okay, to begin to you know, bring in their expertise. Everybody has a part to contribute. Everybody has a part to play so that together we can make a difference in this country. But what's happening? Some persons are, you know, are doing nothing, absolutely nothing about it. You know, doing absolutely nothing about it. Okay? So it, it, it's something that we must look at very carefully. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. For most, it's bye for now.